Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another stream here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are playing Mighty Number no. 9. That game that was promised to us via Kickstarters that was meant to be a Mega Man clone to really make us all excited to play a classic Keiji Inafune. Keiji Inafune, I think it was the designer. Um, big robot monster battler uh, with platforming. Now, this game has gotten nothing but contempt from so many people over the last uh, period of 68 months. The, the game went through a development hell on Kickstarter. There was a bunch of issues that people had with the, how they were managing the program, how they were managing the setup. And I can understand a lot of people's complaints. Uh, your, your hope, your dreams of actually kind of like getting a, a classic game of entertainment value is high. Like Nostalgia makes us all do silly, silly things. In fact, uh, prepaying for a game that was probably going to get made no matter what is probably an example of that, but I'm glad Mighty Number no. 9 actually does exist, even though its marketing had so many issues. I think that was the biggest thing that put people off, was after the long delays, long delays, we got that last minute trailer that was released for the game, and it was quite insulting to its core audience in a lot of ways. Um, maybe the game itself can redeem it, but I've never played it before, so let's see what it gives us. Alright, let's take a look in the options here. General look is us to see what kind of options setup to give. V-Sync off or on, Bloom on or off, Gamma, I'll turn up the Gamma a wee tiny touch because it tends to be a little bit darker on your stream screens. Uh, BGM volume, sound effect, voice, retro BGM. Bitchun, chiptun, bitchun. Nah, we'll just stick with the uh, modern theme. So text language is English, voice language is English, Francais, and Japanese. Well, that's a decent enough combination. Confirm cancel button as normal. Um, confirm cancel generally because uh, Japanese games confirm is circle, cancel is X. Over here it's X in a circle, so makes sense. Life remaining. Oh, okay. So we do have a life system in this? Huh. Well, I'm going to go with the default because I'm going to send you that gives me my default difficulty to work from. But um, yeah, apply all and we're grand as is. Go back. Mighty number nine! Mighty number nine! Uh, d -d 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 credits, the people behind it, accomplishments. Uh, ooh, a list of accomplishments you can unlock by playing through. I'm assuming this is actually achievements. Yeah, complete the opening stage. So at least we'll try and get at least one of these question marks before um, I Mighty get sick nine. of this game and kind of give us our first idea of what Mighty number nine plays like. And no data, new game. New game! New game! It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. It is the present year. Not 20XX? I'm already Great disappointed. Breakthroughs in robotic technology have ushered in a new era of peace and prosperity. Well, that's delightful. Violence is confined to the Battle Coliseum, where robot combatants face off in spectacular duels. Face off! Today, the Coliseum, so the Coliseum walls, walls once, once again, again echo with, with the shouts, shouts and cheers, cheers of excited fans. fans. When suddenly, it, it is a bit. It's not overwrought narration, but it is a little bit. Mm, for what we're seeing. Hey, right, let's rock and roll. Are you auto running? Am I controlling you? No, this is a cutscene. Well, this is our. This is mighty number nine. This is our bot boy. Uses the same particle effect, kind of like the the blip teleport that Mega Man used to do. So, yeah, all right, are they, are they, you're trying to tug at the strings already, mate. You're already trying to tug at the strings. System ready. Wrong. Professor. Ah, oh, back and functioning normally, it would appear. What on earth has happened? It's chaos everywhere. All right. Well, well, I assume the chaos is well, going to be driven by robots of some here. sort. We must make for the laboratory, and quickly! Post haste! You forge ahead, and clear a secure path. I'll follow, and monitor your progress. Work away! Is it yes, just sir. me, or is it like... It's... The professor kind of looks a bit Don Avadani. <laughs> Alright. Whoop! Boom! Uh, we got our Mega Buster. And our little lemons actually only have a lift in distance. Alright, you can jump over ledges. Works for me. Okay, obviously we learned some controls there. Jump and shoot, jump shoot, jump shoot. 
Once again, the president has declared a countrywide state of emergency. While well, freezing completely still on broadcast. This based on reports of haywire robots rampaging out of control in all 52 states. <laughs> He does look worried, but he is in freeze frame, so we, I mean, we all have Gregory pretty horrible Graham, posture. CEO what about if you go through his stream, you can actually gain really, really horrible visions Terry of my face. Terry of course, being the world's leading robot manufacturer. Let's go there now, live. Good. Attention. All right, you're going Attention. there live, but still, is this thing on? he's frozen. <clears throat> Animate, you motherfuckers. Animate. My fellow Americans. In this time of my Christ, fellow Americans. we at Cherry Dine would just like to express... Goofy hair, that constant sweat, bizarre, and comfortable eyes. Yeah, this was predicting Trump in control, wasn't it? Him. <clears throat> we at Cherry Dine are doing all we can to help fix the situation. It's Blackwell. Hello, is this thing on? It's Blackwell. Is this? But that sounded very Hamlin-esque. <clears throat> and now let's go live to our eye in the sky, Avi, for today's Avi News Traffic Report. Okay. Thanks, Abby. As you can see, we've got a few accidents eastbound on, well, everywhere! And it's caused by me! Mighty number six! W what does he think he's doing? Listen. Uh, breakable objects! objects. Woohoo! Uh -oh. Okay. Just teleport in. Security bot. And it's out of control, unlike all the Dr. Others. White? Beck, there's no other way. Right. You fight your way through. You can handle this. I know you can. Professor, I... I'll do it. Good. Oh, do you have to actually... Okay. Okay. Ah. I needed that. Okay, some things actually do blow up if you shoot them enough times. Okay. Okay, I'm Oh, I'm not liking this kind of... It feels stiff for a Mega Man game. Um... Okie dokie. I'm like meant to jump down there to hit these guys. Less than fine. Much less. These right. robots gone wild are tearing the place apart. I've sealed myself in the lab. Who knows how long before they break through? Uh, understood. We're already on our way. You try to hold them off as best you can. Alright. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right, that's what I'm meant to be doing. Bring it on. That's more like it. All right. Quite clear. Great. Um. Oh no, I fell out and died. Right. Okay. Very early on, jump death. Um. Right. What were you expecting me to do there? Otherwise, I only have two lives. Fuck's sake. Route to the lab. Here we go. Here we go. That's more like it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. 
Um, I'm not massively fussed on this so far. This is actually feeling like Here we go. awkwardly. Kind of, I mean, having to accelerate on the R button doesn't feel like a comfortable choice Sonda. of controls. Sonda, are you still there? Have the robots torn you to pieces? Criminy. Okay. I'm here, but I'm that? very mildly perturbed by this game. Um, I think that having this kind of like attack and capture thing Back doesn't really work it? that well. It, it feels like an awkward control scheme that encourages you to actually like risk diving in for the, the pace and rhythm. All right, he's got a lot of XL for me to grab. Happy days. Oh shit! Ay, ay, ay. Come on, give me your exhale. Boom, down you go. Come on. Oh, this looks, uh, that's actually like, almost like lifted from Dot Hack. That's kind of weird. <laughs> the Dot Hack kind of like, uh, the, uh, what, do you, what did they call that? Well, the Ring of Twilight or the, the Book of Twilight being able to do the hacks on the creatures in the game to be able to make them actually finally beatable. So, absorption rates, like this absorption thing, fair enough. Um, it, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel intuitively controlled with the R1 uh, attack because you're doing a lot of this. It would be better on here if it can be remapped. Sandra, I'm wondering if they right? actually like add more buttons as the way it goes. Well, back. Thank goodness. Uh, but where are the other mighty numbers? Well, based on empirical evidence, I believe they might be suffering from this robot affliction that's going around. Robot madness. Crikey. It's like reefer madness, like but only for robots. I mean, smoking way too many microchips. Let me contact my brother at the head office in Tokyo. His name maybe happens to be Wiley. Help. Hmm, maybe it's him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Soichiro. Please understand. Seijiro. The Japanese government won't let us intervene until we know no. the cause of the malfunctions. Oh my. Hmm, I was afraid of that. But it makes sense. Oh my, After all, we won't be able to help with this problem at all. Could be affected as well, making things even worse. Just to confirm, Mr. Sonda, if we can isolate the cause of the robot rampage, you'll send aid? Absolutely, Professor White. On a suicide Anything mission! we can do, did you have a plan in mind? Yes. We'll send Beck to track down all his fellow mighty numbers. Great idea! Wait, what? Why am I doing this? His assimilation ability should filter any irregularities from his siblings' programming. All right! We can gather and study multiple samples, Perhaps we can isolate the cause of the problem. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. The fate of the entire country hangs in the balance. I'll finish reactivating calls so she can provide support. Let's get to it. Beck and call. Rock and roll. Professor, I, uh... Not to worry, Beck. This is well within your capabilities. Really? I know, I know I was getting a Mega Man knockoff in a lot of ways. I mean, that's essentially part and parcel of what this game is going to be. New content in extra mode is here. Great! New content in extra mode is here. Go ahead and... Ah. Okay. Attend New tips. Uh, tip Alright, let's see game options. Um, trolls. Can I? Yes, I can. Oh, wait, so select form up. Um, I might switch that. So that's there, and then form up, form down is yeah, that works for me. Cause I, I just feel uncomfortable doing dash, and that's why I can tap and dash on that side. That's just a per choice. Direct change forms, you can change, change, change. All right, Excel the cover, tap on the thing. All right, okay. I, that feels that that feels much more not. I don't know why that's actually done that way. It feels just more natural like this. Uh, support items on, double tap the dash. What? Turn this on to XL by quickly tapping directly. Yeah, why Why would not be there either? Okay. 
try open on select. Okay. So these forms, being able to switch forms, I'm assuming Thank is related you, to um, what when have you absorb so many of one type. Your next target. Um, I don't know. Today was done. Well platform. Assuming there's a optimal order that uh, I don't know, but I'm just so I'm just gonna go with the you are first one. All set then. I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's give it a try. I like the fire attempt because it actually means that I can like fire through more of the enemies at once, but it seems to be um, easily lost after like a couple of shots, so it seems to be like a, it's about comboing each one of them. So you might as well just get used to using the main one. Bring it on! Whoa! Here we go. Here we go. Ah, so the oil makes it uh, slippy. That makes sense. That's more like. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Bring it. So that makes sense. Here we go. Oh. Bring it. Oh shit. <laughs> so uh, I'm assuming there's actually like particular things I need to do to make those little pod pops come up, or are they actually like waypoints maybe? Well, hello, Pyro. Pyro. Burn. The world must burn. Yay. Pyro, wait. That's not a good sign. Warning. Multiple incoming robots detected. What? Where? It is confirmed. Pyro has gone rogue as well. Beck, you must hurry. Here we go. I need it. Bring it on. Bring it on. Okay. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Got my ass beat. Okay. So I'm wondering where the recovery point is. Is it actually just before that room? If it is, that's okay. But I mean, I don't know how many lives I actually have. Yeah. At least I have a full health whenever I come in here. Can't skip cutscenes. Can we? Yay, we can! It is confirmed. Pyro has gone rogue as well. Beck, you must hurry. Here we go. Here we go. Bring it on. Bring it on. Quick clear. Oh my. Quick clear. Did you see all those bots and such? Quickly gone through. Happy These days. These designs of yours are something else, Will. Yes, Will. Under the circumstances, that hardly feels like a compliment. That's what. Okie dokie. So the platform will fall if I step on it. So if I spread across and then jump up and dead. Hmm. 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 Instant death pitfalls. Love them. Absolutely love them. I've always loved them in every single one of these games. Oh crap. 
so I just wait for him to actually come around and then jump up. Yep. Ah! Oh shit! Game over. Hmm! Hmm! Fuck you! Fuck you! Hmm. Right, so restart. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to take it from the top of the level. Let's give that a try. Quick fall, pit levels. Not a fan. Not a fan of those. Let's give this an R try from the top. So, this is actually getting frustrating really quickly for what it is. Um, I'm really not a fan. Also, uh, limiting the number of fireballs you can actually have on screen at any one time. Not cool. Uh, it looks like it's actually, what, three beads is the maximum? That is um, unbelievably frustrating. Right, let's move a little bit faster. Moving through, come on. Bring it on. So you don't have to kill everything. Absolutely not necessary. Bring it on. Here we go. Bring it on. Here we go. Ah, not liking that. Not liking that. Not at all. Hello there, buddy. So if you make it through there in time, it actually gives you a wee bit of a heal. That works for me. Okay, let's skip this one again. So I'm assuming that's like a regen. That is confirmed. Pyro has gone rogue as well. Come on. You must hurry. Here we go. I needed that. Bring it on. Bring it on. Ah! Oh. Quickly! Oh my! Did you see all those bots? Yeah. And such power! These designs of yours are something else, Will. Yes, well, under the circumstances, that hardly feels like a compliment. Alright, so I need to remember to actually jump one direction and go one direction. Huh. Alright. Promising. Make it across this. Can't actually make any jumps, or I'll probably end up getting hit and knocked to the floor and instantly die. Great combinations. Oi. Oi, you fuck ye. Jesus. Here we go. Moving on. Jesus! Alright, as long as I don't get killed, I'm actually okay with that. So, have we made it to Pyro yet? No. Oh, this is not motherfucking Castlevania! <laughs> right. Time to fight Pyro. Pyro. Finally. You why you not burn? Made of I fire, I am. No, burn me. Burn. Uh oh. Burn. Don't care. I'm going to hammer on the attack button. Burn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Whoa! 
Oh, shit! I don't want to fight you, Pyro. Please snap out of it. Stop getting more powerful. It's no use, Beck. He's too far gone. You'll have to stop him by force. Oh, shit! <laughs> Okie dokie. Just going to speed up my hitting. Bring it on. Useful. Ah, you fuck. Here it comes. Whoa. Here it comes. I don't want to fight you, Pyro. Please step out of Come on. It's no use, Beck. He's too far gone. You'll have to stop him by force. Here it comes. What? Ah, you fuck. Boom. Come on. Don't dust it. Step out of it. Now. So. The limitation of the fire speed and the fire rate with a uh, number of bullets on screen means that you have the optimal positioning of where you're going to be. And then, of course, I saw that fine play for actually hitting him whenever he was charging me after getting it at the right time. So there's techniques to taking down each one of these guys. I can completely understand. Oh. <laughs> when we first game stream, we get Mega Man. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, yeah, this is a fun game, but... Ooh, ooh, pitfall deaths, not a fan. Knockback pitfall deaths, not a fucking fan. This is not a great combination to play with. Um, I'm tempted to actually play a little bit more, but... Mm, <laughs> I don't want to actually get frustrated and annoyed. Oh, so now we actually have a forms. Okay. Pyrogen. Great. So, I'm assuming whenever I absorb and get like a particular kind of bullet, if I switch forms, it'll be always a fire bullet that I'll get, and that way I can actually control what it is I'm getting. Jiminy! I'm getting it now. a boy back! Come on, Will! Show a bit of enthusiasm! Perhaps you should show a bit of restraint, Dr. Sonda. This is only the beginning. Call? Please transfer Beck's assimilated cell data over to my terminal. I want to begin my analysis. It's just the lack of animation in these cutscenes that annoys me as well. You go to the point of, I mean, I suppose it probably makes sense to avoid the lip flaps issue where you have to try and match up Japanese to English, but come on, there's at least a little bit of interest. Like, you know, this feels so goddamn static. Here. The president of Cherry Dynamics was insisting the source of the incident is Dr. Blackwell. What? Poppycock! Blackwell is a genius, but he, he couldn't possibly be behind this. You must admit, there are similarities to his last plot to shut down every robot in America. Well, great to know that there was a backstory that we weren't introduced to in any way, shape, or form. Just the Battle Coliseum Championship that was actually announced at the very beginning. And arrested. Even Blackwell isn't clever enough to pull this off from inside a maximum security prison. <laughs> oh, really? Indeed. I wonder why Mr. Graham seems so certain. Well, enough of that. There's data to sift through. Sonda, can you continue assisting Beck? Absolutely. Uh, let me know as soon as you discover anything. Well, I've discovered something. I'm not quite a fan of this game so far. Okay. All right. Quit your lollygagging. My lollygagging? Eat my ass, fat man. Bots. Okay, guys. I'm actually thinking we're going to call this as our first episode of Mega Mighty Number no. Nine. Now, obviously, um, 
I've played a lot of Mega Man games over the years. It's kind of like it's uh, it was one of my formative first NES titles that kind of like uh, really got me into gaming. And I know they are hard. I've always known them to be hard. Like I mean, I think it took me about 20 times to rent out Mega Man 2 before I completed it in the first try. But um, this the flow of this doesn't feel as nice. The I don't know. It does have that renditioning of being a knockoff. I suppose, I mean, one of the things that feels a bit more like it does feel more like the Mega Man Zero series than it does, or Z, Mega Man ZX anyway, I think I remember it being on the DS, more so than even like the main style of Mega Man series. And if we really wanted to play a Mega Man game, there is actually those retro titles that got released from the Mega Man collection and the Legacy collection or whatever it was, and the Mega Man 9 and 10. Now, as a, as a character, Mega Man hasn't been around a lot lately, except for like say in Smash Bros. And I'm glad to actually see that this style of kind of scrolling side shooter coming back again, but there's little gameplay tweaks in the level that annoyed the balls of me in that first one. And I just bulldozed through that more than actually like learning the level and anything else out of sheer frustration. And I'm sure I'll probably get punished for that in further levels. So um, I suppose like if you guys want to see more of Mighty Number no. 9 here on the channel, I will play more of this game. You get, all you have to do is make sure to comment and like and show it actually on either here on the Twitch stream or on the YouTube channel whenever this video goes up. But um, until then, guys, I think I will be moving on and might try something else because we're coming up to late on the Christmas period. So I want to say thank you very much for uh, watching. This has been Pastiche of Skin playing Mighty Number no. 9 for the first time here on Pastiche of Skin. If you like what you saw, you can hit the subscribe button that appears up here at the top of the videos or at the very end of the videos. And you can check over here on the side. There will be a couple of boxes showing other videos that we've done lately, either as cold opens or as long plays of the game on youtube.com forward slash Pastiche of Skin or, of course, on vid.me forward slash Pastiche of Skin. So, I suppose until the next episode, I will see all you dudes later. Bye.